You're watching CBC. Canada lives here. Adana Bean had a high-risk pregnancy. Because of complications with her twins, she came to Halifax from Bermuda early on. She says staff at the IWK were wonderful. Everyone acted like they have known me my whole life and I was their primary focus. After more than a month in hospital, she went into labor in her 25th week of pregnancy. After three days, her son Amir was born weighing one pound 14 ounces. I will never forget that for as long as I live. <laughs> yes, but he is worth it. But he then her contractions subsided and a waiting game began. Her second twin seemed to be happy where he was. He was relaxing, you know, playing and just having himself a good old time with the extra space. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. Because the babies were so premature, every extra day in utero was important. But after eight days, Adana Bean got an infection. So her second boy, Isai, was delivered by C-section. When I first saw him, I was very emotional. Um, to see their actual faces, their limbs, their fingers, their eyes. The birth of staggered twins is rare. It's only the second case at the IWK in 25 years. We had a, a mother who was extremely motivated uh, to do the very best for her children. Uh, we have uh, world-class uh, uh, medical teams. Uh, and mom oh, is best. happy with the outcome. And it's just be more birthday celebrations. Adana doesn't know how long she and her babies will be staying here at the IWK, but premature infants tend to stay in hospital until after their due date, which in this case would be early March. Jack Julian, CBC News, Halifax.